Hey guys, it's John of Figurative Arc. We are going to be doing a how-to video today looking at the VSDC video editor, the free edition. There was a new version released on July 29th of 2016. That's version 5.1.2. So I'm going to talk about some of the changes between the old version and the new version in this video. One of the changes has to do with the conversion of your project into your favorite file format, whether it's AVI or MOV or whatever it is. So there have been some changes. Some of the features of the editor have remained the same. The look of the editor is somewhat different in terms of the skin and some of the icons have been sharpened up, but a lot of it's the same. I will be annotating my older videos to note some of those changes if it becomes an issue with the previous tutorials that I've done. But you will recognize everything in the a lot of the older tutorials that I've done with this new version. So it will still be helpful for you to look at those. So one of the changes is there's now a pro version of this editor, which is not free. So one of the features in the pro editor has to do with how you convert it. So I wanted to go ahead and do a tutorial so you kind of understand how the conversion has changed and that you can still convert high definition videos using the free version. It's just not going to be as fast as it is being touted in the pro version. So what I've already done here, I already have a project I'm in the export project tab and I'm going to go ahead and go through how to convert a project that you've been working on in the editor. So before you convert, you always have to think about, you know, how do I want to convert? What kind of quality is it going to be? How large is the width and the height going to be? I also have to think about how large of a file size do I want? Because if I'm uploading this to YouTube, I can have a gargantuan file size that could take me literally half a day to upload. So you have to make a lot of different choices here with your video. I'm going to put some guidelines as far as conversion in the description that you can look at. But right now I'm going to kind of show you uh, my recommendations and then you'll also see the changes in this new version. So the first thing that I have to decide here is I have to select a profile when I convert my project into a final video. Because I do full definition, I like the H624. You'll see in this new version as says hardware accelerated, that is available in the pro version. That just means it will much faster convert an HD video. Right now when you convert HD videos, on the free version, as in previous versions, it takes a long time. So put on a pot of coffee when you convert an HD video and just and just you know drink that while it slowly converts it. Anyway, I'm gonna pick that. Then I have to make some choices as far as how large I want the width and height. I have to make some decisions about bit rate, which has to do with the quality of the video and the amount of information that it contains every second. I have to make some decisions about the quality of the audio. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Okay, I've already selected my codec. Resolution just means again the pixel size of your screen. I've done recorded this in full high definition, so I'm just going to leave it as original. If you wanted to change that, you could type in your numbers there and do it that way. Okay, for the purposes of this conversion, I'm going to use average bit rate. I'm going to click on configure. Now this is going to ask me how large of a file do I want, how much information do I want per second in the video. The higher this number, the bigger your file size is going to be. 
I would recommend at least 20,000 for a full HD video minimum. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to make sure without acceleration here because that's a pro version if you're using the free version. Then I'm going to go into more. I'm going to click on this KBAC. This is a lossless compression. I just make sure file size smaller without costing you any video quality. And I'm going to click on that one more time. Now I'm going to look at the audio. I'm going to go with this codec for the audio. I'm going to select the highest. And this frequency, it just has to do with what your audio was recorded at. So you need to make sure that that matches. If you convert your project and you've got static, then you probably need to change this number. Most stuff is recorded either at 48 or 44, 100. All right, so now I've done all that stuff. So I've made all those changes, now I'm ready to convert. So I go to conversion, and I start conversion. Now look right here. It says hardware acceleration. So if you want to do this real quickly, you can get the pro version. If you want to export the project without premium features, press continue, which is what I'm going to do. Then it's going to start converting this. And you can see how slow it's going. But that's the option in the free version. Uh, this is going very, very slow. So. Again, I cannot speak to if the pro version is worth it or not or how much faster. You know, my recommendation, again, when you convert this using the free version, you know, put on a pot of coffee, you know, go watch a movie or do something else. Don't stare at the screen uh, because it's very, very slow. So in any case, I hope that helps looking at the changes in the new version of this video editor and how to convert it. So if you have any questions about that or comments, feel free to leave those below. If you enjoy how-to videos like this, please consider subscribing. Uh, next video I'm going to be doing is going to look text in the new version is slightly different and how to do text, so I'll be doing a video on that. So until then, keep watching, and I'll see you again here soon. Bye.